All right, time for a technology rant. I know not many people are going to see this, and that's okay. It makes me feel good to make it. Cell phones. This is an eye crap. Now, a lot of people think I'm anti-Apple, and I'm not. Not really. What I am is anti-crap. And all Apple phones are eye crap. And there's a reason Apple phones are eye crap. It's not what you think. It's the same reason that anything newer than a Samsung Galaxy Note 4 is scrap. Or Samsung crap. And then you have Google crap and Moto crap. And now you have Essential Crap, the new Essential phone. I paid $730 for this phone. I paid $730 for this phone when it was released. Do you know how old a Note 4 is? It's not a current device. Okay. But I still use this every day. This is literally a handheld supercomputer. And I still have my Note 3s, and I use those. And I still have my S3s that I still use, and my S5s that I still use. Because of one very important thing. I can replace the godforsaken mother freaking stinking battery. <laughs> if you think I am ever in my life going to spend seven hundred, eight hundred dollars on a device that I know with 100% certainty that within 18 months that battery will either be bad or degrading to the point where I want to replace it. If you think I'm going to spend seven or $800 on a gizmo that has a $3 battery inside that I can't replace that I know will fail, you're out of your gourd. <laughs> That's to you manufacturers. If the LG V20 is the last top-end smartphone I'll ever buy, so be it. I will not buy a phone that I cannot replace the battery. Now, when you develop the technology to allow this battery to last at least 10 years with a decent capacity, I want 80% capacity for 10 years. That's not asking a lot. Nickel metal hydrides will do that, okay? But they don't have the capacity of lithium batteries. When your batteries can do that, fine. Go ahead, seal the battery inside. I'm okay with that. Until then, if I can't replace this battery, I'm not buying your device. It's that simple. I do not, dis I do not spend $800 on disposable hardware. I won't, I never will. It's stupid, it's insane, it's crazy. This is an LG V20. Do you notice how thick this LG V20 is? It's actually, thinner than a Note 4. So what's going on here? Well, let me show you what's going on here. If I can get it out without turning it off, because <laughs> this process can actually turn the phone off, which I want to try to look. Ah, I just hit the button. Okay. That's because I have a 10,000 milliamp battery pack in this phone. 10,000 milliamps. Don't talk to me about backpacks. You lose half the capacity of the backpack just in the conversion. Okay? Backpacks suck. It's got to be an actual direct replacement. Boy, I didn't actually hit it that time, but I, I hit the stop button. I'm, I'm, this is controlling the camera. And when I put the case back in, I hit the stop button. So sorry about that. Okay. I'm not doing it. I'm not spending $800 on a device that I can't replace the battery. I was drooling over the LG V30 with the OLED screen and the better cameras and the better processor and the better performance. And then I find out it's got a glass back, which means... No replacing the battery. Which means I won't buy it. You lost a customer, LG. I am not going to spend $800 on a device that I can't replace the battery. That is why this is eye crap. And why Samsung's new devices are scrap. And LG devices are, well, le crap. <laughs> At least anything newer than the V20 is le crap. Because if I can't replace the battery, and I can't put an SD card in it. It's crap. Just had to get that off my chest.